Hey guys, how's your day going? I just hiked up here in the mountains and at least had an excuse to get out and move a little instead of sitting near the computer all day. <clears throat> I have to work on my keeping my physical body in line so that I can do more. I, I really feel like I need to do more based on what's going on in the world. You know, I've been, well, we just finished a show with Dr. Cousins. <clears throat> Good show, although we had a lot of computer internet issues and had to go to audio only. But it, we were talking about what's going on in the world and what the solutions are. You know, what we can do, what people can do, what individuals can do. To, to avoid the suicidal future that our rulers have planned for us. You know, extermination of life, as I've said before, doesn't sound like a very good plan. So what can we do to change that? And I understand why people don't want to think about it. It's not pleasant, but it's happening. And God's not stepping in directly so far to stop it. It hasn't for thousands and thousands of years it's been going on with people killing each other and you know the only difference now that I see compared to thousands of years ago is that the rulers have technology that they can finally actualize their plan for extermination of life so the time gets more critical I'm sorry I'm gonna move around a little bit I had a long hike with a heavy pack anyway um, I don't know how much time we've got in this chapter of the play to turn this around, but whatever time we've got is valuable and we should make use of it, right? Best we can. And when I started, you know, seriously working on this whole thing in about 1965, it was as a health scientist and I was looking for natural ways to um, get back toward the normal state that the body was designed for, which I don't think we've seen in known history at all. I think this, you know, I had the feeling even back then that what we call normal aging, degenerative disease, um, breakdown and going through hell in the last part of your life, uh, I didn't think that was normal at all. And, you know, common and normal are not the same thing. Just because everybody's experiencing something does not make it normal. Just because it's always been done in our memory doesn't mean it's a good thing to do or vice versa. Just because it's never been done doesn't mean we shouldn't try it. So I spent a long, I, by the time I was a teenager, I was in really bad physical health and in danger of dying and I was in the medical system and really great, well-intentioned doctors in the process of doing what they were trained to do, which is gradually uh, delete my body and I escaped from that fortunately something told me this is not a really good thing to do and I decided at that time to figure out what's behind uh, aging and physical health and well-being and disease and immunity and the whole thing and got a lot of that done spent a long time with various healers in and out of this country and uh, experimenting and meticulous observing of what happened by doing different uh, protocols together and by themselves. And I had that worked out by, you know, decades ago. And then recently I got hit with something. I mean, it seems like a directed energy weapon to me because suddenly I had like three fatal diseases after being in great shape. And... That was beyond my experience by far. I, I had nobody I, I, I know, you know, really advanced alternative so-called doctors, so-called alternative doctors all over the world. None of them knew other than the energy attack, as I mentioned. And I've made some progress with that. I couldn't do videos before. I couldn't sleep or eat or luxuries like that. And that's fixed now to some extent, although I've got a ways to go. But I feel the urgency of the time, and I want to do more. I want to, you know, after, after I was done 
with the primary uh, exploration of the physical health and energy and disease and aging and stuff, I got more and more deeply into consciousness work. And it's a word that's thrown around with a lot of definitions. And what it comes down to for me, and not because of what I read, but my own experience, my own memory of some things before this lifetime, some connected with spiritual teachers and with Jesus and angelic beings and places that weren't physical. That was really interesting to me and really important. But I realized that uh, we're not physical beings. We're wearing these what I call costumes, these physical bodies that are wonderful. But they're not who we are. We existed before we had them and will exist afterward. If you're not physical, you can't be killed, so don't worry about that. But you can sure go through a lot of unpleasantness right? when you're in these physical costumes all intertwined with the nervous system. And the last several months, I got really reminded of that to a level that I'd never seen before. Now I'm making some progress coming out of it, but I'm still being super careful to do exactly the right things to finish the healing process, which is continuing so far fortunately but you know I thought what else can I do I, I started a planetary healing club in beta phase in 2018 and that was because of my idea that a small uh, core group of people who cared about self transformation into whatever their potential was on all levels and um, transformation of the world finding out what they could do to best help uplift the zombie unconscious population around that follows all kinds of crazy orders to suicidal orders that have very bad results that you can see it unfolding now although there are people trying to shake off the hypnosis and break out of that all that so I thought this you know from what I had seen this core group could if they're willing to work on themselves clear out the ego junk you know which is like hanging on us like a parasite all day every day just get rid of it <laughs> you know it's so irrelevant it, it just wastes our time throw that out throughout preconceptions uh, fighting over who's got the right belief fighting over uh, labels wanted to throw away all labels and just say you know like the basis of science, what's true, <clears throat> whatever it is, even if it disagrees with what I think at the moment, great, you know, if I can be corrected and be closer to what's true, that's really good. <clears throat> so anyway, we had what, what I saw as clues that changing your individual focus, internal focus, consciousness, so that you had a different intent on the scattered thoughts and emotions that you know are with us almost every day all day throw those out and invite spirit invite god original source consciousness to flow through us and live for us and live through us then we'd see our our real potential show up you know, not theories, not arguments, not, yeah, I know I'm right about this and you're an idiot and, you know, a stupid waste of time below preschool level stuff that we don't need. You know, we've got a situation here on this planet where our bodies are walking around. Most of us think we are those bodies and we're in this dream, basically. And there's a very coordinated global network of mafias, you might say, controlling almost all the power positions in government and corporations now. And they've been building up to it for thousands of years. But now they've got the organization and they've got the technology and they intend to uh, finish it. And nobody is stepping in to just stop this up to now. If they do, great but nobody has so I think it's in your hands and the reason I think that you may be thinking you're an ordinary person <clears throat> I don't think so 
I think who you are is unlimited consciousness, not created from matter, but you, your presence enlivens the body. When you, I've seen bodies where people have just died and there's nothing there, there's no energy there. It's just naturally, you know, decomposes and maybe if we were in a perfect conscious state, it would just disappear, but it's not, it's not the source of our life, our life, it's a reflection. So we need to change our state radically back to who we are. I once saw a bumper sticker when I was in the middle of thinking about this stuff and I walked out of a natural food store buying some food and it said in big white letters on a blue background, be who you are. And I thought, wow, that's a, not a coincidence. And actually nothing is, nothing is. It's just that we don't catch the connections. So I thought, well, all right, what can I do more? What we're doing in, you know, I'm trying to work on different levels as I'm sure you are too. Because when you have something you have to do as a physical level responsibility, you do the best job you can, try to treat other people in your relationships with kindness and respect and understanding, realizing they're not just an ordinary person either. They're unlimited spirit in a, looking through the filter, the lens of the physical senses and the brain and the mind. Even the people who have fallen for not just being zombies, but being intentionally evil. I spent a long time investigating where that comes from. And this is a really outside the box point of view, but if I looked deep enough, I couldn't find any intrinsic evil. The evil was their disconnection from their who they really were so even those people could wake up and stop trying to destroy the world and hurt your life and do all these things that are not good to do but what makes that happen you know debate doesn't do it these people will kill you they don't want to debate <laughs> they got other things in mind fighting with people about who's right is this really stupid waste of time so while there's physical activities on the normal level that are worthwhile. You know, if you feel called to run for office or talk at a school board meeting or city council meeting or neighborhood, um, you know, little neighborhood government meeting, um, then do it, do a good job or just be better with your own family, with the people at work, with your friends. Don't just drop the ego garbage, it's a parasite. It's not you, it never was. You're defending a fake identity. Just drop it. That's, I'm telling you stuff that I'm working with every day myself. So it's not just saying, you do that, you know. I don't have to, because I'm talking. I'm, I hesitated for a long time to even talk about these things because I knew they were vital, but I hadn't finished. And now I'm thinking, well, you don't have time. Nobody's finished is showing up in, in my circle on the physical level to take care of this. So we have to do it. So with the videos that I make, Voice in the Wilderness, you know, we talk about all kinds of things, things that are happening in the world related to you and what you can do in response to them. But in the core group, in Planetary Healing Club, what my intent is with that is somehow to get us all back in touch, not in theory, because I don't care about that, other than how it helps us direct our focus. Get us back in touch with who we are. Get you back in touch with who you are. That's what I want from it, is the satisfaction of seeing you, you know, oh, wow, you know, I'm so much more than I realized, and I'm feeling it. That's the deal. It's not just, you know, getting another belief system is useless. We got so many belief systems already, there's plenty to fight about. You know, theological discussions and stuff. And I've done a lot of that. I studied comparative religions in the university and have done a lot of stuff, gone to other countries, worked with physical, uh, spiritual masters. And there's plenty of belief systems, okay? We don't need any more. We need experience. So, 
I don't want to just talk, you know, we've got to do something to shake us out of the zombie condition, because that's what makes it possible for the world to be killed. And you have a lot to do with it, because your consciousness is contagious, not by what you say, not going out and telling somebody else they have to agree with you or change their belief, it's nothing like that. We're broadcasting, there's a frequency that comes out of us all the time, it's been picked up on sensitive electronic equipment and it's going out all the time and it's connected to your state of health, your energy level and also um, your internal connection to spirit, to source, to God not in your belief, okay? I don't know how to really explain that adequately. There's a reality to this internal being of all consciousness, of all love that we came from. That connection can't break because you're, you're made of that. There was nothing else to make you out of. Sorry, that, that was it. So that's still your essence. It's everybody's essence. Even the bad guys, they don't know it, but if they didn't have that essence, they couldn't exist. And I know there's people that, many people I've talked to in the last few days even, that believe there's all these people that have no reality, they, weren't, they didn't come from God, they have no soul, etc., etc. I'm not trying to disagree with anybody's belief, I'm just telling you what I've seen, is that there's nothing that's not made of the essence that comes from God, all of it. And there are belief systems who deny that so they can fight and justify killing each other and things, but I'm not doing that. I'm saying, and if that's true, well, we're going to find out, right? You don't have to defend truth because it's true. <laughs> you can question it all day, it's not going to change. But whatever it is, we need to get in touch with it and not just talk about it. So the idea of PHC, Planetary Healing Club, is to find a core group from all over the world, whatever country you're in, if you're one of those, maybe one out of a thousand, maybe one out of a hundred thousand people that is willing to think and act outside the box and entertain the concept that you could be this amazing being way beyond what you're used to experiencing. And that not only is, I'm not talking about believing that, I'm not asking anyone to believe that, or anything else. I'm saying, the only thing of value that I want to share is helping us get to experience that so we can live as that, and then your presence in the world will be contagious and will spread so others will wake up, including the people involved in destruction consciously and the ones following their orders. It's a really important thing. So, Dr. Cousins is talking, we just did the show with him today, you know, and he's talking about starting a once, I think a once a week uh, meditation on world peace, and that's really powerful. And people think, well, you just sit there and meditate and kumbaya and you feel better and it doesn't do anything. If your focus is, your emotional state is scattered, and your thoughts are just running all over the place and you're feeling worried and fearful, which is optional and useless, by the way, then yeah, sitting down and saying you're meditating is just fooling yourself. But if you can somehow, if we somehow in this core group can get a hold of the feeling of unity and harmony and unconditional love, not just for the good people, but for everybody, and I'm not talking about, yeah, I love you, but, you know, burn in hell because you're a bad person. Uh, this is a different feeling than that that you can access. And the point of Planetary Healing Club was to try to get a hold of that, share it, connect to it. So in addition to Dr. Cousins' program, which I recommend, I think it's going to be a free once-a-week meditation, and we'll, we'll talk about it more. Uh, on our next show with him, which is Monday, next Monday. It's every Monday at, uh, new, let's see, it's 11 o'clock Pacific, 2 o'clock Eastern. And you go to lostartsradio.com and you'll find it. Anyway, that project that he's starting is going to be really good, and I recommend we all participate. But in addition to that, my question is, all right, you're doing 
this half an hour a week meditation, which could be really good if you can bring your inner focus down and calm your thoughts and, and get a hold of the feeling of what it would be like in world harmony. If you don't focus on that, it, you, it really doesn't have the power. But that's half an hour a week at best. Or if you do it every day on your own, maybe it's a half an hour a day or an hour a day. My question is, even if you do that, what are you meditating on the other 23 hours every day or more? Because you are focused on something and it's not what your intellect is doing, it's what your feeling is focused on. It turns out that in order to generate this frequency that you broadcast all day, usually scattered full of worries and fears and doubts and self-condemnation, self-blame for stuff you didn't know any better than to do, that frequency can be brought into coherence. So you're broadcasting a whole different emotional state. It's not the thought, it's the emotion that has the power. So what we try to do in PHC meetings, which are also once a week, Saturday nights, U.S. time, is try to connect us to that feeling that if you let that flow through you in your life, you become powerful and focused and you start to affect situations and other people. And this has been you might say, oh, you can't affect anything by what you silently do inside. That's not actually not true. And this has been proven that emotional focus changes your whole outside environment, situations, the behavior of other people, including really nasty people who want to do you harm. But it has to be real. You cannot fake this. And that's what we're looking for in PHC. If you want to help with that, you want to participate, you want a supportive environment to get in touch with that, you're willing to do the homework that we give you every week after the meetings, which is all working inside yourself. Nobody else has to even know what's going on. Then I'm looking for you, no matter what part of the world you're in. PlanetaryHealingClub.com is a a portal to sign up for that group if you want to join us. I'm there live every week and uh, I usually talk about something I want to share. We use music because it's got emotion in it. We use meditation, discussion and open chat after I share something for the first hour. And it's a very focused intent you know, it's to get you back in touch with your real potential. You're really different than what most people are used to. And then from there, to maintain that and strengthen it so that you affect the rest of the world. And this would be a perfect complement to what Gabriel Cousins is talking about doing once a week too. So anyway, feel free to join us if you want to. The other thing is, even if you don't want to be in that, officially in that core group that's doing that work. I, we started a mailing list uh, some months ago because we were starting to experience a lot of censorship and banning and shadow banning and uh, removal of our videos from the internet. Now it's being done by AI. And um, so we started a mailing list for anybody that wants to stay in touch. If we can't reach you with these videos, we could at least email you, you know, if there's something important to share. As long as we have internet access, which at the moment we still do. So, I'm going to start, I, I haven't even used that email list, I haven't written anything. I've just been, you know, I work on this 16 hours a day, because I've got a lot of work on myself to do. I feel like, you know, I need to be a much better conduit, a much better person to share what we're trying to get across here. I'm doing the best I can, but it takes all day. Now I'm going to start adding writing to you personally. But you have to be on the mailing list if you want to get those emails. And you can quit anytime you want. It's fine. And that's a free mailing, free email list. You don't have to pay for it. Um, the way you get on it 
so that you'll get the emails that I'm about to start writing is uh, go to lostartsradio.com and then I think it's over on the right. I just talked to Doug about it this morning. I think it's a green button. It'll say something like sign up for email list or join email list or whatever. And you just put your email that you want to receive stuff at in there and hit join or or uh, whatever the word is that it's got on there. Accept or I don't know what. I did, haven't looked at it for a while. And then the emails that I plan, if I can, to start writing in the next few days, you'll start getting them. And I'm going to try to put something useful in there. So, you know, in spite of our environment and what's being done in the world and all the health stuff that's happening and attacks on health and uh, education to become insane and aerial spraying and EMF stuff and so much more that I can't really get into right now. I want to empower you or at least give you hints and ideas that I found as an older person who's been doing this for a long time. You know, and I, I mean, honestly, I've made <clears throat> some progress in age reversal compared to the condition I was in before. <laughs> I mean, I might not look too good now, but I, I was really in bad shape before. Um, but I have a long way to go and I'm still, so I don't just talk and make videos. I, I have to work on continuing to transform this body, especially after the attack it just went through. And, um, the consciousness too. I mean, I've made some progress compared with how I was before with the consciousness and where my emotional state stays and my thoughts and my focus. But there's a lot more work to do. And I'm just saying I want to do it with you. So if you want to be in, in that group and if you see anybody else anywhere in the world that wants to participate, let them know. They get in through planetaryhealingclub.com or send me a question about it if you want to. Info at lostartsradio.com or richard at lostartsradio.com. Um, info gets to both myself and Doug, so you're welcome to use that. And uh, sorry for the sun glare. I'm trying to stay out of it. it keeps moving. Um, anyway, if you want to be in the group, I'd love to see you live every week. And and if you can't make the uh, the live meeting, there's a recorded version that goes out the next day to all the all the club members. PlanetaryHealingClub.com. But if you don't want to do that, at least you might want to sign up for the emails which are available anytime, free. I just need your email address and sign up for that at lostartsradio.com. What else? I know about what's going on in the world in addition to the health work and the consciousness work that I did. I spent decades investigating the global power structure, the unseen levels of it. And uh, I know where they're going and what they intend, and they know that this consciousness work is real. They're using it from the dark side, pouring in fear and um, worry and hatred and self-condemnation and division. And these, th these frequencies become components of the atmosphere around the planet. It's not just gases. But they have a disadvantage. The only way they can con conclude their program of extermination is to make sure we stay unconscious, arguing and fighting and hurting each other and thinking how stupid the other guy is or the other woman. This is what keeps us unable to help ourselves. So again, the main thing is drop the nonsense and the chatter of the mind, drop the ego junk. We're all one family and in fact if we knew the truth, we're closer than a family, one being in different forms. That's why you can love your neighbor as yourself and it can be real. Anybody, these physical appearances are momentary and they change all the time, but what's inside doesn't. If you get in touch with that in yourself, you'll see it in everybody else. So anyway, I didn't mean to keep you so long. I'm sorry about that, but I want us to come out okay. I want every one of us to be okay. I want you to be 
in such good condition and so in touch with the internal source of joy that whatever happens around us, we're fine and we can do it. We can get there. So do it with me if you're up to it. Richard at lostartsradio.com is the email. I'm, I'm trying to read all the emails and I'm doing pretty good at that so far. Uh, but you'll find out the details of, our, of the core group that's going to be doing this work at planetaryhealingclub.com and I'll meet you over there. Otherwise, sign up for the email list, okay? And I'll, if you want to get the emails, I'm going to start writing them, I promise, in the next few days, God willing, okay? Anyway, I honor you. I see you as the literally the light and the hope of the world. And I know that if you decide you're worth it, which you are, and there's something that can flow through you, you'd be amazed what is going to happen from that. Okay, let's experience it together. Talk to you soon.